Texas sky and I'm not actually showing my face today because um, well it's like day 12 or something of the uh, quarantine and I am a hot mess so um, I have attempted a couple of times to shoot a video where I'm showing you how I uh, decoupage this tray and both times it's been a disaster. Um, I've had nothing but technical problems and so I am hopeful that this time I'm going to be able to get a video done that is going to be able to show you this technique in a way that is totally watchable. That's my, that's my hope and pray. Okay, so what point. I want to talk to you about is doing decoupage with napkins. I know that everybody is stuck at home and um, I was trying to think of something that maybe y'all could do without having to go to the store and buy a bunch of products. Um, hopefully you've got some Mod Podge because that's what this is going to take. It's going to take a surface that you want to do your decoupage. It'll take some napkins and you need to have some decoupage. Um, and I've got just the white decoupage right here. So the first thing you need to do is most of the napkins, and I'm gonna have links for all of these, these products um, in the comment section or in the description section of the video. Um, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you need to take your napkins down to where you're on only one ply. These napkins are three ply. It's really hard to tell um, that these are three ply napkins. And if you'll see, it looks like the first, the first tear off is pretty simple. Um, it's just, you just look where they separate and you're gonna pull that one layer off. Now, there's really not anything you can do with these layers. Um, you know, it's very thin. It's not, you can't really use it for a napkin. However, if the, um, the toilet paper shortage stays what it is, who knows, you might need to use that for toilet paper. Um, I'm just gonna toss it to the side. And then I am going to take my spray bottle. Grab. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of water on this plate so I have a little pool of water. going to dip these two fingers actually I'm going to dip one finger in and then wet my thumb and then I'm going to take the corner of the napkin and I'm going to touch both sides and kind of pull because your fingers will stick to the napkin and if there's another ply which I know there is they'll separate and you can see how it separates now be really careful when you pull that second ply away. You don't want to tear your napkin. Okay, so now I'm down to one ply and you'll be able to tell because your napkin's really delicate and really thin. And then I use a watercolor brush a paintbrush um, and it's got a nice fat tip um, and it holds water really well clearly it's a watercolor paintbrush <clears throat> this is what I use to cut my flowers out and you know what I've got a napkin here that I've already started on I'm gonna save this one for the next time I want to use it I'm gonna go ahead and use this one that's the great thing about using napkins is you get so much mileage out of a napkin. I could do four different things here, but in this particular case, I'm just going to add some more flowers to this because I've already got this tray done, so I want y'all to see that. So, what I'm going to do again, I've got my little plastic plate where I've put some water, and that's actually how I'm going to cut out these flowers. One, two, Dip it in my water and just get it wet. And then I'm gonna go around the areas that I want to cut. So you can see where I've got that, where the water has been. 
then you simply pull it apart. And that's basically it. Now, I do have a straight edge on this um, tray that I haven't used. So, you know, if I want to, I can put my flowers, I can put my flowers anywhere on this tray that I want to. Um, I want to stick them down here. I can do that. You know, you'll just have to make up your mind. Then if I wanted to, I could, I could take a scissor, you know, scissors and trim around those edges if I wanted to. Um, I do want to get this, I don't know if you can see, but there's a logo right here. It says Linux. I want to get rid of that. I'm just going to use that same brush. And I'm just going to go over that and just pull that off. There we go. One more. Okay. You know, and if I wanted to, I could cut this leaf off. You know, I could take it. Matter of fact, let's see what happens if we do that. I'm going to trim this down even further. Let's say I just wanted to go. There. And, uh, you know, I've seen people, you, you can totally cut these out with scissors if you want to. There's nothing that says you can't cut them out with scissors. But it seems like the more um, tattered the edge, the better it lays down and everything. Um, that's, I mean, that's just been my experience. I'm not, I mean, I'm not acting like I'm the be all end all of decoupage because I'm really not. Um, but it's just, it's not a difficult thing, so. Um, it is easy to do. And I do have these two straight edges, so I could totally put this flower in here because of the two straight edges. Um, same thing if I wanted to put them in this upper corner. I could totally do that. Um, you know, if I were going to put it in the middle like this because there's a straight edge, I would probably just cut that flower out or cut, yeah, I would just cut along where the flower is and not have those leaves because the leaves are cut off. And so we don't want it to look like the leaves are just suddenly cut off. Now, if I do put it, let's say in this corner, if I do put it in here, my leaves are running in to these leaves and I don't necessarily want to overlap them I don't know that there's anything that says that you can't um, overlap. I'm going to set this up a little bit so you can see inside where I, where I am here. Um, maybe if I do this. Yeah, see how they kind of overlap? And I, I mean, that, like I said, nothing says that I can't overlap, but I don't really want to overlap that. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this leaf off. And again, you could definitely use scissors for this if you wanted to. But I'm not. I'm just going to use the paintbrush. I want to be careful not to you know, damage the flower though. I want all of the flower in there. Take the rest of that leaf. Okay. There we go. Okay. Then I can put this in here. And it's not going to overlap. So, after you get your napkin cut the way that you want to have it cut out, you're going to apply your decoupage where you want it to go. And I'm trying to make sure that y'all can see. 
Let me scoot this camera up a little bit. And I'm going to see if maybe I can zoom in just a little also. Okay, that's good. To apply your decoupage, you can just use a chip brush. This one's a little bit bigger than what I would normally think to use, but I mean, this is gonna cover, give good coverage um, right here. But I cannot get the brush into the jar, to the Mod Podge jar. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pour some up. Just a little bit, oh, I know what, I poured it right in that water, so I'm gonna move and pour some over here, okay. So I've poured some up. I'm going to dip my brush. And then I'm just going to paint the decoupage where my napkin is going to go. So you want to get all of that painted. You don't want it thick. You don't really want your napkin sliding around but you do want it to stick. If it doesn't stick, you'll have a world of trouble. Um, that's the way bubbles happen. Okay. So then you really, on it, you just line it up. I've got a little bit of decoupage that kind of gathered up and I don't want that either. Okay. So I'm gonna set this. edges meet then I just smooth it down into the decoupage that I've already got on the tray I'm just smoothing it out from the center out and it is delicate. You want to use a really light hand. I'm going to go ahead and take this little edge off if I can get that up. Of course, I have no fingernails, y'all. Since this, since my salon is closed, I've lamented all of these first world problems. One of them includes not being able to get my nails done, which is terrible. So the paint that's on them is the some gel paint that I did myself, so it's not good. We're just, we're gonna be honest, it's not good at all. I just took off a little bit of this leaf. Of course, when you're doing it, you're gonna be much more careful than I'm doing it, because um, you're not gonna be, you know, on camera and trying to get good shots and everything. But I think, we're good as far as having no ripples or anything like that. Okay, so I've got the flower, the flowers that are on there. That's everything's good. Then you're going to take your Mod Podge and you're going to go over the top. This dries clear, as you can see. And on mine, I actually, I, I really kind of made a mistake when I did the others that are on here. Um, I used the entirety of the napkin. I used the whole thing. And so there was a lot of white napkin on here. Now it was okay because I was careful when I painted this serving tray, I painted it in um, soft pink, Dixie Belle paint, soft pink, which is beautiful. And I then whitewashed over it with Dixie Belle's um, White Magic Voodoo Gel Stain. And I'll have links for that in the, uh, in the description also. And so I had a, a fairly white background, which is um, what you would want if you're gonna have a lot of white napkin showing. Um, so you don't want that necessarily. Now what happens is this decoupage, um, it dries in about 15 minutes. And what I would do, honestly, 
before you go over it with your second coat or with your first coat of decoupage on top, I would go ahead and let the decoupage that's underneath, or excuse me, the Mod Podge that's underneath dry before I go over the top. Because what's happened is since it's not dry underneath, as I have pulled the brush, I've sort of moved the element, uh, the napkin, around a little bit, and I've caused some wrinkles um, in the in the napkin, and you don't want that, and you can avoid that. It's easy to avoid just by letting the napkin dry, the, deck, the Mod Podge under the napkin dry to really adhere the entire napkin to your surface, and that will take care of any wrinkling that might happen. And then as I said, the decoupage, uh, excuse me, Mod Podge dries clear. And when you're done, you'll have this nice, pretty um, element on here that, I mean, this tray is just beautiful. And then you can also take little pieces of the napkin. You know, if I wanted to add another butterfly, let's say, I could come over and cut this butterfly out. Let me get some more water on here. I could cut the butterfly out. I did that with the water. I just went around it with the water. And if you have any long edges, you know, go ahead and you want to have mostly color. You want to, you know, you want to get rid of most of the napkin. There we go. Then bring my tray back a little bit. Let's move around here. I'm just throwing this in here. This this tray is my sample tray. And the same thing, I'm gonna lay down my butterfly or whatever you want to put on your piece. Got my napkin down. And I'm smoothing him out. And he's completely smoothed out. And then as I said, best uh, best practice we're gonna just to let that dry and then once it's dry we can go over it with the Mod Podge on top and you're gonna want to put a couple of coats of the Mod Podge on top of your piece on top of your napkin that you've used as decoupage just to be sure that it's secure and uh, it's not going anywhere and as I said the Mod Podge dries clear, so you're not going to have um, you're not going to have to worry about a lot of stuff, you know, showing through. And if you're careful about your base, like I said, I went over this on uh, top of this with a white wash of White Magic Voodoo Gel Stain because I knew the back of my napkin was white. And like I said, over here, this is my mistake. Um, I left all, all of this was the napkin. I left that napkin in there, in those areas, and I should have just cut that away. I should have done that before I put it on here. I did not do that, I made a mistake. Um, but you can take some napkins, and you can use the whole napkin in your tray if you want to. Um, you could. You know, you could just do something like that where you have an entire tray covered. You know, you probably would have to do some trimming, set your center, I would set center, and then maybe take, you know, another napkin, cut it in half, you know, here, and then put that one side on here and one side over here, ever how you would want to do it. But the sky's the limit. Napkins are not expensive. Um, I'll have links to several different styles in the description that you can purchase. But that's it. 
it could not possibly be easier. So while y'all are home on quarantine, hopefully staying very safe from uh, coronavirus, of course, I don't know when you're watching this, it could be years from when that happened, but um, if that did happen, I hope that your family was safe. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I will join you again with another project. Maybe I'll put my face in it if I can manage to get myself together enough for that. You guys are wonderful. Go to my Facebook. It's uh, Facebook and then look for under a Texas sky and like my page because I post a lot of things on Facebook that I do not post on my YouTube channel. If you want to go to my Instagram, it is um, under underscore a underscore Texas underscore sky. Of course, under a Texas sky.com. You can shop Dixie Belle products. This, like I said, this was painted with Dixie Belle soft pink and a voodoo gel stain and white magic. I carry the entire line. If you're ever in Hubbard, Texas, currently I am located in Deering's General Store, um, but ho hopefully, 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 cross your fingers, I'm going to have my own store right downtown. It'd actually be across the street from Deering's General Store, um, it, you know, when that happens. But watch my Facebook, because that's where those announcements will come. I love you guys. Um, I appreciate you and hope that I will see you again real soon. Blessings to y'all.